Hello everyone, I am back with someone kind of new. Um, I got her at the end of 2022 um, from someone in person and it was um, actually kind of similar to the Blue Fairy situation, selling off a collection and I was helping with identifying um, all the BJDs and I was able to do it for almost all of them um, except I couldn't figure out her until um, I purchased her and I took off the head cap and I decided to look because on the inside there was a name written and I recognized the sculpting as uh, Rainy Man's work um, from Elf Doll. But there was a whole period of Elf Doll dolls that I wasn't familiar with so I didn't know exactly who she was. <laughs> um, I've got her right now in that um, amazing soul doll outfit, which, oh, uh, it is so perfect for her. Um, the only problem is, um, this was made for a soul doll double girl, I believe. Oop. And that hat keeps falling off. Um, which were really small um, for SD girls, like both in height and in... Um, Everything, really. So, there's massive gaping at the back, but I think I can kind of disguise it, and it's otherwise so perfect um, that I'm, I'll deal with the fact that it doesn't quite work. Anyway, so in my research after I purchased this girl, um, one thing that happened was I f was able to find, actually, <laughs> um, the BGD Collectacy article describing her, but my first hint was I went, okay, sculpting-wise, it's it's got to be Rainy Man from Elf Doll. It's got to be. Um, so I went on to Den of Angels, and then I had the name that's on the inside of the cap. And I had kind of looked, and I went, there isn't an Elf Doll sculpt by that name. Well, not in English. <laughs> um, it... Um, <laughs> she is a normal skin version of Ruru, um, and Ruru was, according to Den of Angels, um, Elf Doll's first and only um, one-third scale tan doll. Apparently the casting process in 2006 was uh, so horrendous that um, they just, they didn't try again. It was just, it was too expensive to have that high of a failure rate of castings. Um, but the sculptor was released um, once in normal skin and once in real skin. And this is normal skin. Um, the real skin has a slight tan to it, a little tan. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous in person. I've seen an elf doll in that color, but uh, that's not what she's in. <laughs> So the sculpt as a normal skin release was called, let me check my phone, um, Kyo Caroli. Um, she was a U.S. dealer exclusive. Um, actually both, um, both the, uh, this version, um, and Ruru 21, which was, um, a release in 2018. Um, that was in real skin, that was also a U.S. Uh, dealer exclusive. Um, Kyo Caroli here was a release of 40, and Ruru 21 was a release of 30. And I want to say that the original Ruru in tan was a release of 20 or 30. So, uh, she's always been a really, <laughs> really exclusive doll. Um, Originally came with gray glass eyes. She didn't have that by the time she came to me. She didn't have any of her um, full set um, stuff, which is part of why identification was originally a bit hard. Um, and uh, she did come... So she had these really cute fist hand. And um, about two months after I purchased her, um, the person who was selling her locally um, found the Elf Doll Care um, booklet as well as the other pair of hands. 
And funny story, because of the price, which is why I originally went for this doll, was because of the price and that the scale of the body was such that I went, oh hey, now Emelinda can have her own body rather than always having to always having to swap the head of Li Shang and Emelinda. Um, because even though I have more one-third scale dolls um, for girls now, uh, most of them are Volks. <laughs> Which, uh, there's a huge head and neck difference, uh, between a number of my dolls, if they aren't folks in one-third. Um, and then I kind of, kind of looked at the face, and I went, you know, it, it's reminding me of this character that I've had for a while, from the Curiosity Shop story, and that's the shopkeeper, Miss Celeste who is European, question mark, um, Western European, question mark. It's always been really, really vague. But one of the things that wasn't vague is that she's supposed to have um, one blue eye, one brown eye, um, dark blue and dark brown, and then um, auburn hair. Well, I didn't have auburn hair, but I did have kind of this that was my closest reddish um, wig. And I didn't have any brown eyes that fit, but I did have uh, some dark blue ones. And I kind of started putting them together, and I went, hmm, kind of is giving me Miss Celeste vibes. And then with this outfit, even more so giving me Miss Celeste vibes. I'm still not 100% about the face-up, but I kind of don't want to touch it because limited 40 dolls. Um, on the other hand, I kind of want to do it myself because uh, it's my doll. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, it's been kind of crazy lately, not just doll stuff, other things and been busy um, doing offline stuff, including offline stuff for dolls, but it's kind of been a good crazy with the crew lately because I never thought I would be able to get an elf doll. I, when I kind of made more of a return again to BJDs, um, first of all, I never thought I'd be able to get one third <laughs> um, elf doll. Um, and then the elf dolls in one quarter that I really love. Um, Dammy, particularly. I can love Dammy with the cheeks. The chubby cheeks they get me. Um, and her smile. A anyway, so the one quarter elf dolls usually go for, um, I want to say 700. Yeah, 600 and up. Um... U.S. Just very much out of my range. <laughs> and then, um, at the same kind of with the SDs. They go for prices that I wasn't going to be able to nibble at. I was able to get her locally for very cheap. She is legit. It was very cheap. Um, and... Yeah, it was just a crazy coincidence to be able to get this girl. And then, um, today, if you, I opened up the, the double boxes, and it's a blue fairy, um, Dennis, and baked. I thought I was going to have to wait forever to get a blue fairy, or that I'd have to actually go to the blue fairy cafe, um, if it's still open. I don't think it's open anymore. Dang it. So Blue Fairy had a um, cafe in uh, in South Korea where you could go and you could hold their dolls and you could be there in a cafe. Um, so I was kind of also in this weird position of, oh, 
also loving Blue Fairy and loving their style and loving like basically every release from them. But always thinking, no, it doesn't work for my stuff. No, I can't afford that. And just a crazy good deal. Um, and I, I won Tiramisu over there. Um, I am kind of thinking that that's going to be her name. <laughs> or maybe it will be like Tiara Mitsu. I might do that for the puns. <laughs> the, anyway, I, I didn't think that I was going to be able to get these two um, ever. And then, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I just lucked out this time, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to actually grab the other girl because, yeah, it, it's special to have the two of them. And here they are together. An elf doll, um, Keo Caroli, Blue Fairy Dennis and Baked. Um, both of them were about a hundred bucks Canadian because I really, really lucked out <laughs> with both. Um, so there's a hundred each, not, not together. That'd be absolutely bonkers. Um, and I think that this girl may end up working for Miss Celeste, the mysterious shopkeeper of the Curiosity Shop. And this girl's face keeps growing on me. <laughs> Look, she wants up. <laughs> um, so right now I am tent tentatively calling her um, Tiara M Mitsu instead of Tiramitsu, um, because I think that's funny. <laughs> but I will see as I try her in different things whether that name changes. But look, she just wants to be hugged. Give her a hug. Come on. <laughs> okay. That's everything. Bye, everyone.